my original um, motivation and drive to become a therapist um, arose primarily from my struggles, um, depression I was experiencing uh, in college, and um, could barely function, could get out of, barely could get out of bed, was heartbroken over a lost love. Um, I went to the counseling center on campus and had an amazing therapist that helped me through and held my hand throughout this crisis. I thought I was having a psychotic break, and um, maybe I was, but um, the support I received you know, was a, a turning point in my life. And I remember thinking, I can't believe you get paid to do this kind of stuff. Like, this is so fun. Um, and, um, and I probably needed a lot more therapy, and maybe it was a shame-based decision. I know, instead of getting more therapy, I'll become a therapist. And then when I have my next breakdown, I'll be all ready to fix myself. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't far wrong about that. You know, the, um, one of my pet peeves and another one of the early messages of on being a therapist is the the incredible hypocrisy that exists where, you know, instructors I would have could never put into practice what they would tell us to do. Or um, therapists that I had known were walking around basket cases and I wondered, how can you help anyone? You can't even help yourself. Um, and it just really bothered me that, that members of my new profession couldn't walk their talk any better. And, um, you know, probably if there's one message in this book, maybe in all the books I've ever written, it's that similar theme about being who we want other people to be, whether as a parent or now as a grandfather or as a teacher or writer or whatever. That is the, I'm giving away a secret, but the worst thing you could ever call me is a hypocrite. Um, I, you know, I'm not, after all these years, I'm not even close to where I want to be and would embrace anyone that would say, Kotler, you got a problem with this. I agree. Um, but wow, have I made headway. And a lot of it is what my, not just what my supervisors and teachers and previous therapists have taught me, but mostly what my clients have taught me. I I'm probably learn more from my clients than I have from any supervisor. And I, I guess I personally believe that our clients are our greatest teachers.